All right, guys. Usually by uh, second week, you guys are asking for a little bit of help with the uh, shop projects. Um, I don't know if this is the best way to teach you guys ladder diagrams, but this is how the, the shop manual is set up in that there's a, you know, con there's circuit components and there's an operation that you have to meet. I mean, you're going to have a customer that says, I'd like this circuit to do this. And you, I mean, there are some instances where you're going to be handed the circuit or you're going to have to make up a circuit based on the parameters that the, the customer gives you. So this is kind of like the customer gives you some parameters. Um, they're all over the map and you've got to try and find some components to work. Um, so let's see for this project. So this is your safety control circuit. Am I going to do all the, the ladder diagrams that you guys are asked for? No, I'm going to give you one and hopefully this one sets you up so you can do the rest of them uh, to walk through the five or six that are given in the shop menu. So we've got two red pilot lights, one green pilot light, three normally open momentary contact push buttons, one normally closed momentary contact push button for a reset, and two control relays. So what you might want to do is uh, just on maybe on the top here for simplicity, we're going to write in all of our components. So we got two red lights. There's a green light that we need to make use of. Okay, we got three normally open momentary contact push buttons. Okay, so we're going to put in three normally open push buttons here. Yeah. And we'll just label these guys push button one, push button two, and push button three. Okay, what else we got? We got a normally closed push button for a reset. So we're going to draw in our reset push button here. And last components are we have control relay one and control relay two. So that's everything that we have to work with. And we've got to make sure that this operation makes use of all of these components. And these control relays that we're going to use, they're going to be the 8-pin relays that correspond to the ones that we have in the shop. All right, so operation, at rest, all pilot lights are off, and both control relays are de-energized. Okay, well, that tells us nothing. So let's draw in some lines here, right? We've got, uh, let's just make this line one and neutral. So be careful, your controls are often lower voltage than what the motor circuit is. Uh, so be careful, make sure that all the components that you're putting into the circuit match with the voltage that's coming off of the control transformer or that you're tapping off from your motor circuit. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to take line one and neutral. So these guys will all run off of 120. So every component, push buttons, lights, control relays, they're all going to be uh, rated for 120 volts. Okay, so the first part tells us nothing. All the pilot lights are off. Both control relays are de-energized. Okay, beauty. We have two control relays. So let's put in CR1 and we've got CR2. I mean, we're making use of two, so maybe one turns on the next. Who knows? Next one, to enable the circuit, also known as ready to run circuit, the normally open enable button must be pressed. That's going to energize relay number one. Okay, beauty. So we have one of these push buttons that we're going to make use of, the normally open enable push button. Um, and that guy is going to bring current to the first relay. So let's draw in that first push button. Nice. So this guy is going to be our enable push button. And we're just going to label this guy. as the enable. Beauty. So when we press this guy, then current is going to rock over here, energize the control relay. And let's see, green light is also going to come on. Well, there's two ways we can do this. We can either have the green light just in parallel here, which is probably what I do because who knows what other uh, contacts we need from control relay number one, right? So we can either put it in parallel, and we know that from uh, theory that parallel circuits have the same voltage. So this pressure and this pressure are going to be equal. When this gets 120 volts, this bad boy is going to get 120 volts. And that'll tell us that 
the control relay has been energized. The other way to do that would be to make use of one of the contacts from the control relay. So we could draw in a contact, come over here, and this guy would be from CR1. And when this gets energized, this would close, and that would energize our light. But let's try, let's try and save some contacts. Let's keep everything simple, and let's put these guys in parallel for now. Okay, so let's see. Normally open must be pressed. That's going to enable relay number one. So we are just keeping track. I took care of this guy, and I've made use of this guy so far. And uh, at this point, I got this taken care of, and I got this taken care of. Nice. Okay. Um, let's see. To start the equipment, note CR1 must now be energized. All right, so now we're getting a feel for what they're asking for in this circuit. This control relay is an enable control really. It's like a key switch. You have to turn the key on and enable the rest of the circuit. So CR1's got to be energized before anything else happens. So this enable push button would be kind of like, um, could be a key switch, could be enable push button. You press this and energize this control relay and that is going to energize or allow current to flow to the rest of the components down here. So there's two ways to do that. We can either put the control relay right here, right? So we can put that contact right there and that's going to allow current to flow from line one to the rest of our circuit. Or we can do this. Before we get to any other component, we can drop in our normally open contact from CR1 and that's going to energize anything else that we have to add here. Okay, if we want to drop in our contacts for CR1, we know that 2 and 7 are the coil, right? So there's 2 and 7. And then we need a normally open. So let's take, um, let's see, number 1 and contact number 3, right? 1's the common. So we'll put that guy right here. And we'll take 3 and put it there. BD. So now CR1 has to energize before the rest of this gets current, okay? That's taken care of. Uh, both, let's push both normally open run buttons at the same time. And this is going to energize relay number two. All right. So this is run A. This is run B. So we have two switches. And if we're looking at the logic that they just gave us there, that push button, let's see, push both of the normally open run buttons. So that means that this and this have to be pressed at the same time. So in order to create an AND circuit, we're going to put those two guys in series. Okay, so this is push button 2, this is push button 3, and we labeled this guy run A, and this guy run B. So we got to press both of those push buttons in order for the control relay, relay to get voltage. So let's tie in the neutral here. Excellent. Okay, so both of them are going to be pressed, and that's going to energize our second relay. Okay, we've taken care of the second relay, and it looks like we also have the green light taken care of. And we've got these two. Excellent. We're now down to two red lights and a reset push button. A contact from relay two will energize both of the red lights. All right, so we could have put these guys in parallel, but the manual is saying, all right, we're going to make use of one of those contacts from CR2. Now, be careful, don't come down here because we said that CR1 has to be energized to close this to enable current to flow to the rest of the circuit. So let's tap off here. Then we're going to drop in a contact from CR2. And we're going to drop in each of those red lights. Is this the best way to do this? Is this the only way to do this? Absolutely not. Throughout the shop class, you'll probably find that all kinds of people have different ways of doing this. This is just my way of doing it. Right? Other people really prefer to put the CR1 contact right here. I just threw it here and then I branched off to each of these guys. Okay, Be careful because on this guy, remember that this CR1 contact has to deal with all of the current to any component that now connects into it. So the inrush current of CR2, the inrush current of the lights, all has to pass through that contact. 
So be careful when you are branching off like this because now all that current has to go through that contact. And if I put too much current load on this contact, I'm going to smoke it. All right, now, so CR2 is going to control that. The coil for CR2 is 2 and 7. And I'm just going to make use of 1 and 3. And we're going to label this guy as it's controlled by CR2. Nice. So a contact from relay 2 is going to energize both of those red lights. Very nice. We've taken care of those guys now. Okay, to stop the equipment, release either one of the normally open push buttons. All right, so it doesn't look like there is any holding contact, right? It says that if we release either or both of the normally open run buttons, then CR2 is going to be de-energized. So that's telling us that there's no holding contact down here to go in parallel with these guys to hold it on. It's a series circuit, so if we break the current here or we break the current here, this guy is going to turn off. This is going to go to shelf state, and these guys are going to turn off. Okay. Next thing we got to do. Um, so that looks like everything's cool. This will turn off the red lights and de-energize relay two. We just took care of that. To reset the circuit, the normally closed push button must be depressed. This will de-energize relay one and turn off the green light. Okay. So we need something in here. So that means that this guy right here needs a reset. So this is just your standard three wire, right? There's our, nor let's draw that in a little bit better donkey. Okay. So this guy is going to be our reset or stop, right? So it looks like that enable push button has to turn on CR1. That needs to keep this rest of the part of the circuit on. We don't want it to be holding that enable push button for the entire time. So why don't we clean this up a little bit? Move this guy over. There's our enable push button. Goes over to CR. Beauty. So we don't want to hold that button all day. So we're going to drop in a holding contact. Okay? Because then. CR1 is going to be energized. We missed that in the beginning, right? CR1 is going to be energized and stay energized for all this to happen. So, I mean, that might change our context here. Maybe you want to be kosher and use this guy as one and three. Now, again, I can't use one and three down here, right? Because there's a component from this guy over to here. So CR1 has got to use the other common, which is eight. And the normally open is six. That's going to take care of that. That's going to take care of that. And it looks like everything's done there. There's lots of ways to do this guys, right? This is just my way of looking at the, the circuit components and the operation kind of slowly walking through all of the components. Okay. Let's just make sure. Um, at rest, all the pilot lights are off. That's open. That's open. That's off. That's off. Beauty. That it's controlled by that. That's open. That's open. Everything's cool. Both control relays are de-energized. Well, this is open, open. That's off. That's closed. But this is open. So that guy's off. Beauty. Start the equipment. CR1 must now be energized, right? Um, let's go back up here. Normally open enable button must be pressed. This is going to energize relay number one. Push this guy. Current comes over to CR1. CR1 closes its contact, which I didn't label here. That allows the current to come through this holding contact. Keep CR1 and the green light energized. Okay. And then uh, CR1 energizes. Both of the push buttons have to be pressed. So that closes that. Push these guys. Turns on CR2. That turns on both the lights. And then to reset it, we're going to press this normally closed, which kills CR1, which opens this contact and opens this guy. And at that point, all the pilot lights are off and both control relays are de-energized. All right, guys, hopefully that helps with your projects. Uh, if you have any other questions, come see me in class before or after class. And hopefully I can shed some more light on ladder diagrams.